Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm feeling very Beatrix pottery. This happens once a year at this time of year except it's come early this year. It's usually roughly April that I start to feel very Beatrix pottery. So the feeling could last longer this year because it started earlier. We are in February 2020 at the moment. So I'm on Pinterest with my other phone and I'm just going to put uh, Beatrix Potter and see which illustrations are going to inspire me. Okay, so now I've got my image and just getting my mechanical pencil and I shall start. Always get a little nervous because I want it to be good. So, I think I will put him on this page. We've got Peter Rabbit. And yeah, I'm not keen on the new Peter Rabbit movies because they look nothing like Peter Rabbit. They've just done an animated rabbit and put a blue jacket on him and said it's Peter Rabbit. I can't believe Beatrix Potter would be happy with it at all because no... Um, I just don't, hard work has gone into it, but not what I call artistic hard work, if that makes sense. Um, in the 90s, there was, um, which I have mentioned before, it's like my favourite um, Beatrix Potter animation that they have done. Um, and it was in episodes um, and they had an actress play obviously uh, Beatrix Potter and I can't remember her name I think it was something like Naomi something I can't remember but th that is where the song Perfect Day with Miriam Stockley has, has come from and so the um, hard work for that they used a team of watercolour artists to recreate Beatrix Potter's illustrations and they brought it to life. So you can actually see like real Peter Rabbit jumping about and being naughty and Benjamin Bunny and all the other characters. Whereas in this latest thing, it's all computerised and I feel it's lost a lot. But that's just me. So, rant over. And I will then start drawing Peter Rabbit. The bit of my phone gets in the way when I'm doing things like this.
You're certainly looking a very naughty rabbit. Even if it's not looking like him. So the pre-sketching is finished and now I'm going to ink and instead of using my dip pen and a bottle of ink I'm going to use the Faber-Castell Pit um, Artist Pen in size S and I tend to use this one most often because it's the most fine um, nibbed. I do it for quick quickness too. Like I said, it's not going to be an exact copy.
And now I'm going to erase all the pencil lines with the eraser. Get it out of my pencil case. This is on my channel too, this pencil case from 2019. And now, I'm probably, because it's traditional, going to use watercolours. Now, I don't have the Winsor & Newton watercolours. I'm not keen on their brand as such. Um, and the Winsor & Newton watercolours are what Beatrix Potter actually used. So, um, I have a metal tin of schmink or schmink perhaps. I'm not sure. I'm just going to be fiddling in my drawer to find my watercolours. I always forget which drawer I put them in. You know, I remember where I put them there. Yeah. I put them in a safe place that I wouldn't forget. So I forgot. Okay. So in this bag, we should have... And here they are. Oh! <laughs> 